All right, today we're going to do a BAQ data view. Uh, BAQ data view is an alternate way to get some data um, onto a customized form. Like instead of the traditional way, it probably would have been adding a dashboard assembly as a tab. Um, BAQ data views are faster um, and a little bit more flexible. Um, I've also had them be more reliable since I've had over various versions, the upgrades break my embedded uh, dashboard tabs. All right, so what I've got here is I already made a BAQ, and all this BAQ does is it returns uh, orders, lines, warehouse bin, and on-hand quantity. What we're going to do is um, we're going to add a grid to order entry that shows what bins this, these parts are in. All right, so I've already got developer mode turned on. I'll open up order entry. And I'll customize order entry. Just going to drop it. Drop my grid right over on the side here. All right, so a data view does, BAQ data view does require uh, some code. So, and I will post the code in the description. So, first thing we need to do is we need, we're going to add in a using statement. And then we are going to add in a variable. So we're going to add in a BAQ data view class level variable. Um, and we're going to call this, uh, let's see, what, what did I call Order, oops. Okay, I'm just going to call that order line on hand BAQ data view. Um, and then I am going to make a method to create this. Nothing special about my uh, syntax, although I'm naming here. And I'm going to call my method to create this at the be beginning of my initialization of custom code. Um, so normally I would put things at the end, but I want this at the beginning. Um, so that my BAQ data view is available if I ever wanted to do things like put uh, row, row rules on top of it. Uh, those will work with BAQ data views. Okay. So I've added my using and I've got that. So now I need to fill in this. So just when we start our customization, it's going to call this method. And this method is going to create our... BAQ data view. I'm going to do probably the same thing that you will end up doing. I'm going to take some existing code and I'm going to paste it in and then I'm going to fix it up. Um, and I'll talk about what I'm fixing up as we go. Okay, so first thing we're doing is we're going to create our BAQ data view. Um, so I already defined that it existed, so we're going to make a new one. And we're going to give it a name that is that. Um, then we're going to add our BAQ data view to OTRANS. So it is available. Um, then we can bind it uh, to, we're going to actually bind this to a grid. Um, now we need a uh, publisher. Um, so this is the item on the existing form that is going to uh, 
that is going to retrieve be the how we're connecting the form to our BAQ data view. Uh, so I'm actually going to do this. I could have used order head, order number, order number, but I'm going to use order detail. And so that's our first binding. Um, so then we are making a publisher. Um, this little bit in here um, where I'm doing a publisher name, uh, good, new, good, to string. I've the scope of these publisher names is not limited to the form that they are on. So I've had BAQ data views kind of stop on each other when I've had multiple forms open. So I give it a name that I know is going to be unique. All right, so this creates a publisher and now we're going to bind this publisher or we're going to subscribe the publisher to our subscribe our data view to the publisher. So we need to update this code right here. So that we're going to subscribe to publisher. And this is the column in the BAQ that we're going to subscribe to. So we're publishing the order number and we're going to subscribe to the order number. I'm going to verify that that is how I have it here. And you can see I am order detail order num. So this section of the code here um, connects it to the order num. But that's not enough for what we need because we want to actually see the lines and the on hand. So we're going to also connect it to the lines. So we're going to have a second publisher. So you don't need a second publisher if you only need to do going to one item, but we're going to go to two items. So our second publisher, we're going to publish out the order line, basically same code here. And we're going to subscribe right there. And that is the same thing that we have here. All right, let's see if I got everything. Okay. So I just have to save that and come back in. Oops, looks like I got a problem here. Uh, oops, I did the wrong. All right. Piece of the code that I updated there was incorrect. This line right here is actually the name of my BAQ. And sometimes I will actually name my BAQs that I'm using for data views as with that BAQ data view at the end. Um, I always like to put something in my BAQs to indicate that it is used in the data view and where it's used because this won't ever show up in the where used if I'm only using it on a data view. Okay, so that should be better now. Let's fix that. Come back in again. All right, now, now we can add a grid here.
So I've got that, and I'm going to do my binding here. And you can see here is my VAQ data view. So I can bind it just like I normally would. We'll save that and come back in and see what it looks like. see that it populated my column headers there. So I could come back in and customize this again so that I'm hiding some of those columns or re you know, change the width on them, whatever I wanted to do there. But let's see the results here. We'll just pull up an order. So now we can see that this order pulled up that one. Um, I should look at an order with multiple lines here. that order. Oops. What order was that? All right. So now I've got line one is in that location. Line two is in that location. Line three is in that location. As you can see that grid is refreshing as I change my lines. All right, that does it. And uh, like I kind of mentioned, this doesn't have to be a grid that you apply here. Uh, you can also, uh, if you had a BAQ that just returned one row, um, there's no reason that you can't bind this to just a single text box. Um, so like if I wanted, uh, like on sales order, if I wanted uh, total open orders to be displayed on order entry, I can do that with a BAQ data view.